Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm trying to keep my head in the camera. <laughs> Looks like the top of my hat's cut off. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to talk about stoves. And I think a good place to start is with the choke hazard. So today I'm going to talk about the choke hazard and tell you everything about it that I know, and there's a lot of stuff that I've learned from other people. Okay, let's get started. Now, you can't see this that well because I'm too far away from the camera. So what I'm going to do is take the camera off my beautiful face and move it in here so all you can see is my hands in the stove. It'll be a lot better for you and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Okay, most people already know this, uh, but for you newbies and people who just haven't seen this at all, uh, this is a choke hazard. Uh, if you get one and has an R on it, it's the original, just a regular one. And if you get one with a T on it, it's uh, turbo. You can order either one in the store. Now, the difference between the two is that the original uh, has the fuel port, but it doesn't have the air vents on the top like the turbo does. And the difference there is that uh, this one will put out a moderate flame about right for probably baking or small pots. Uh, it certainly work well with the QMH. And this one uh, gives quite a bit larger flame, is really too hot for baking, uh, and is good for probably a 10 centimeter pot. If you've got some time, even a 12 centimeter pot. So that's the difference between the two of them. Okay, now when you get these, uh, they'll come, I don't know if you can see that or not, they'll come like this, and they'll also have two extra felts in the bag that comes with them. Take the felts out of the bag. And now when you get it, you take the hose out, which coils right up, and inside here there's two felts. The felts just go on the bottom, flat. And then this hose, uh, you see there's a hole here. You take the hose and Twist it and push it a little bit until you get it into the hole. Probably not the easiest thing I've ever done, but it's not the hardest. So what I do is uh, I take the felts right out so I can look inside and make sure that the hose is in far enough so that the 45 degree angle is inside by a little bit, maybe a quarter of an inch. So you don't get any leak and that it's completely seals. The expansion of this hose completely seals this so it won't leak. Put the felts back in. And do the same thing uh, on the other end on the reservoir. Now, then when you set it back up, you got to twist one or the other until they both lay uh, completely flat. Might have to turn it a little bit. There you go, until they lay flat. Okay. Now, uh, you can start out, trying to keep this in camera frame, you can start out by putting a little alcohol in the stove to get it started. And then uh, you can pour alcohol in here, elevate this a little bit, and it will run down and run into the stove. So while you're cooking with this, uh, you can just continually feed it by adding alcohol in here with your squirt bottle and it'll run down right in the stove. You can, as long as you got alcohol, you can keep cooking. Uh, and if you, if you fill it up, you know, maybe up to where my fingernail is, you can cook quite a long time, 10, 15 minutes, uh, between refills, at least 12 minutes. And that works well for baking, well for small pots. And if you want to go to a bigger pot, uh, you just go to the turbo. Okay, that's the basics of the whole thing. And when you get done, you just pull your hose out on each end. Curl it in here like that. Tuck the end under, put the cap on, and that's your stove. Now, if you have a stove and you have any problem with it, you lose it or whatever, if you have one of these in your pack and you have the alcohol, uh, you can still cook. If you don't have a pot stand, you can use some rocks. Try to get this so it doesn't block the camera too bad. 
You can use some rocks for a pot stand. Uh, you know, whatever. It's, it's, it's a real good emergency stove just to carry in your pack. Uh, if you get out, caught out somewhere and need to heat up some water to, uh, in the evening. Uh, and it certainly is compact. Okay, let me show you the finer points of this. I'm going to use the turbo this time because I've used the other one. Okay. Put this all back together. Okay, you can use this uh, in this configuration and fuel it from out here. And uh, this is a turbo work 12 centimeter pot. It'll still work with it's hot enough. Now, if you have just a turbo and you want to decrease the heat, you want to bake or something, uh, there's a couple of ways to do that. One, One is to simply take the extra felts that come with it, it comes with two extra felts, and put your two extra felts in, and that will uh, block off the turbo vents and turn it back into a original. The other way, which is a little less linear and will give you even less heat, is to put two felts in the reserve and use the reserve as the cooking part of it like this and use the stove as a reserve and just pour your fuel in and feed it that way so uh, that's basically everything there is to know about the uh, choke hazard not real complicated not real big uh, fairly hot but I think to finish this out, I probably ought to fire up each one and let you see the flame pattern on it uh, with the lights turned out. So let's do that next. Okay, there's the flame pattern on the turbo. Uh, this will work just fine with a 12 centimeter pot. This is, this is, you can see this is fairly hot. This is, for the size of it, amazingly hot. Now I'll show you what it looks like uh, using the original without the uh, turbo vents in it. Okay, here's the original uh, choke hazard uh, without the turbo vents in it. And you can see it's a modest flame, uh, not a crazy hot stove, uh, almost perfect for baking. So you can just, while you're baking, you can just uh, add fuel uh, right here. And it will run down the hose and refuel the stove. And you can bake uh, as long as you have alcohol. Probably have to fill it every... 10 or 12 minutes and uh, it's it's almost perfect. It works well with the QMH and the ATP pots. Uh, not really hot enough for anything bigger than a 10 centimeter. I mean you could if you wanted to but if I was going to do that I would go with the uh, if I was going to go with anything bigger than 10 centimeter I would go with the turbo. But uh, there you have it. So I'm Timmy from Mini Bull Design. Try to have a really great day. Try to have some fun today. You deserve it. Bye-bye.